All right, just a few minutes ago, budgeting expert Andrew Warrock was uh, telling us all about loud budgeting, and then Zoom was just Zooming, doing its thing. We want to bring her back. Um, you were just telling us about setting goals and hacking your monthly bills. What was your third tip you were about to share with us? Yeah, well, I wanted to talk about, you know, avoiding burnout. A lot of people think of budgeting as being really restrictive, and, you know, every time that you have to decline an invite to going out to eat, that could feel like deprivation. So you do want to build some extra fun money into your budget, but also, you know, loud budgeting means speaking up. Be honest about your gifting needs when it comes to things like birthdays, celebrations, maybe an upcoming wedding. Instead of creating a registry and filling it with goods you don't need, make a cash registry. This could help you pay for a home down payment or maybe pay off student loans before you tie the knot. There's a fund called the Not Cash Funds where people can make cash contributions. And this is great for parents. I know myself, I have young kids. I don't want any more toys. Mm -hmm. Consider opening up a UGMA. Um, this is basically a custodial account, like an investment account for your kids where you can invest in mutual funds. You manage the money and you can ask family and friends to contribute instead of gifts. And I love mm -hmm. the option from Fabric by Gerber Life. They offer a completely digital UGMA custodial account. And again, ask grandparents to contribute money um, there instead of toys and gifts. Also, tap into rewards to allow yourself some guilt-free spur splurges. Mm -hmm. So I love using the Fetch app. This is an app where you take pictures of your receipts. You'll get gift cards as a bonus when you uh, redeem those points that you earn and then use those gift cards to pay for a little splurge, a little dinner out. Also, um, get a really good cashback credit card. Uh, the Bread American Express cashback card gives you an unlimited 2% everywhere you shop, even for your bills. Use that cash for yourself to enjoy a little something so you don't feel completely burned out. And then my last tip is to come up with alternative plans. So if your friends uh, are tell, asking you to go to an expensive restaurant or maybe a getaway for the weekend and you just can't afford it, mm -hmm. maybe there's something else you can do to still spend time with the people in your life that you enjoy. Invite them over for a potluck dinner, go for a hike, a picnic, uh, you know, you can go explore an art gallery. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money. You always have the, the best ideas and, and the best advice. So uh, one more question for you before you go. Uh, is it best to start loud budgeting before you file your taxes or after? Because that could be a whole other thing, right? Yeah, exactly. You know what? It's a never too late to start. Okay. I would say start now. My biggest tip, though, when you are trying to budget and change your habits, don't try to change everything overnight. Take baby steps. Mm. Choose one habit and start there and then build from there. Because if you try to change your entire lifestyle, yeah. that's going to make you also feel burned out and you're going to end up on the other side of the spectrum where you maybe go on a spending binge. So like, let's say you're trying to cut back on takeout. Maybe instead of cutting it all out, cut mm -hmm. one or two takeouts a week until you get used to cooking more and then go on from there. Yeah, to quote the great Jordan Sparks hit from 2006, I believe, one step at a time. Andrew Warrock, always <laughs> great to see you. Thanks again for joining us.